Folks, Bank of America's latest crypto report shows that they know that whenever Bitcoin is dead, it is time to buy. And right now, the market thinks that Bitcoin might be dead again. Hi everyone, what's going on? I am Carlos and this is another quick crypto market update. It's no news to anybody that the crypto lenders have been the ones bringing the market down. Of course, alongside with the bad macroeconomical situation, which is bringing the world into a very bad and perhaps unprecedented recession. And when things are uncertain, people jump into assets which they consider to be safe. And perhaps that's why the US dollar is thriving against every single currency. For example, look at this euro to USD chart. And the euro has not been this low since 2002. It just got to $1.02. But in my normal guy's mind, it doesn't make sense. The American Central Bank has just printed more money in two years than it had done in 30 years. Trillions and trillions of dollars have been printed. But people are jumping back into this very inflationary currency. I do think that it makes more sense to jump into BTC and dollar cost average into BTC on its way down. There are many metrics showing that the bottom could already be in or could be very close to being formed. Though it's a crazy market and anything can happen and I am not a financial advisor. I strongly believe though that DCA is a very good option if you believe in Bitcoin and crypto. The collapse of Terra, UST, followed by the crypto lenders have no doubt catalyzed and accelerated the bear market. On the past few days, though, there have been more good news than bad news. Could it indicate a change of trend? So in this video, I'll quickly go through the latest good news about Celsius, Nexo, Vault, and others. Stay tuned and watch it until the end. Crypto lender Nexo plans to buy fellow lender Vault. Singapore-based Vault said on Monday that it had suspended withdrawals for its more than 800,000 customers. This could be a strategic purchase for Nexo due to Vault's heavy presence in Asia and it would therefore accelerate Nexo's presence in this continent. Folks, Celsius has just dropped the WBTC loan in MakerDAO down to a liquidation price of $2,772. BTC has not been this low since the last bear market and I would like to believe we're not going to see this price ever again. Just yesterday, Celsius had paid two different loans, $64 million and $13 million respectively. Every day, they're cutting the debt down. The last update is that their debt with make a down is around $300 million right now, way lower than what it had been a few weeks ago. A lot can still happen, but we cannot deny those good news. If you have your funds in Celsius or in any of these platforms, without access to your money, you're absolutely entitled to be pissed off, very angry. But the good news are there, at least to calm us down a little bit, take a deep breath and hope and wait. Folks, if you enjoy the content of this video, don't forget to smash up the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.